Hey, what is up, YouTube? Uh, today, I have something I'm pretty excited over. I got 21, 21 blister packs of Age of Overlord. Uh, I was working out of town, uh, and there was a Walmart right next to where I was working at, and I walked inside, and they were just fully stocked. I mean, fully loaded with stuff, uh, mainly Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh, um, and tomorrow I'll be posting a Pokemon video, I actually have four Obsidian Flames Elite boxes, I have four of these that I picked up too as well, I mean they had like 30 of them on the shelf, I mean that was one of the biggest Walmarts I've seen, but I got four of these, I might do a live, go live tomorrow, to open these up because it is like 36 packs or something like that so that's going to be quite a bit of a video but also they there are going to be some giveaways in that live stream if i do do a live stream there will be a handful of giveaways so make sure you are going to stay tuned for that uh I, in my last video i have a giveaway it was for a Trihorn Dragon, LOB 25th Anniversary, Element Hero Inferno, 1st Edition Pharaoh Servant, another 1st Edition Pharaoh Servant, 5th uh, Phil, Phil, 908, I think that's who it is. I might have got that wrong. I remember the 908 part in your name. Uh, I will comment in my last video for you to go check this video out. But... If I said if I I'm terrible with remembering names like that, but in this video I have a pretty special giveaway, something you don't see too often. Uh, but here it is. I'm bringing it back to the very very beginning of Yu-Gi-Oh with this. We got Tri Tri Edge Master Secret Rare for Monsters Revenge. I got a, an Egyptian God Slime Secret Rare, and the good ones. We have a first edition LOB. Now, this is standard English. This isn't Asian English. It is complete English. And we have a first edition Metal Raiders Mega Thunderball. I'm sure there is somebody out there, just like I said in my last video, that is that would like to have first edition old school cards. Uh, well, here's your chance. All you got to do is comment down below and be a subscriber on my channel, and I'll get you into that giveaway. Uh, I do have something kind of special I like to, to share because I went to my store the other day. I have a second and Charles. I don't know if y'all have one of those near y'all. Well, they have bins full of Pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I ended up picking up around 600 Pokemon cards and probably like 200 Yu-Gi-Oh cards. But look at these. These are absolutely mint condition base set and base set two and some fossil packs all mint condition that i found in these bulk box uh bins that they have and they sell them for uh you can get 50 of them for five bucks and i picked up like six i want to say around six or seven hundred of them just pokemon wise and it's nothing but these base set and old school pokemon cards that are in immaculate condition uh, i was pretty excited about that and i also did end up finding a some Yu-Gi-Oh cards in there. I found a first edition uh, starter deck Kaiba Blue Eyes and a first edition starter deck Yugi Dark Magician. Now, get, don't get me wrong, they are the Spanish versions of them, but they still go for twenty to thirty dollars a piece, which is nice. This pack's kind of open, but let's get right into this first pack of Age of Overlord. We have twenty-one of these to open. I'm hoping to pull some absolute fire. Some quarter century rares. That would be absolutely sweet. But we got Wat Tuna, Cursed Bride Doll, Kendall Warrior Dragon. We get the Exoraptor. And we got Snake Eye Oak, which isn't a bad card at all. The Immortal Bush. Fallen of the Tistina. Diamond Tiger. And the Fierce Force Gaia. 
think I said it before. They should have made that guy into a hollow. The fierce force. <clears throat> I'm sure they will eventually. They, I think they made damn near every form of guy that's ever been printed into a, a hollow version. All right, we have Pit Knight Philly, Pendulum Evolution, Souls of the Supreme King, Escape Goat, TG All Clear, Shade Peacock, Watt Kingdom, Luca, Vanquish Soul. So far, not the best, but still got a bunch more to go. We have a Watt Tuna again. Exo Raptor. Sinful Spools of Doom. Okay, we have an Ultra Rare Original Sinful Spools Snake Eye. Okay, let's put that down here in the front. XYZ and Trust. Round. Daybreak. And Testina again. Yeah, I, I'm, I do want to say one thing, uh, and this is just for educational purposes for y'all. This video that I'm posting today was not supposed to have been a Yu-Gi-Oh! video. It was actually supposed to have been a Dragon Ball Z video. I purchased five booster boxes of Dragon Ball Z on Amazon, and I got them last night. And I literally just got back from the store before I started doing this video. Because I had to take them back. Uh, every single booster box I bought. Which I bought them from three different sellers on Amazon. And every single one of them was resealed. I mean it was bluntly and plainly obvious that they were resealed. And I just wanted to bring that to y'all's attention. To be very careful. And don't make the mistake that I did. Look at the reviews. I mean once I figured out that they were resealed. Because I did not open them at all. It was just bluntly obvious it looked like somebody just took uh sandwich paper and literally just folded it up with sandwich paper uh don't make the same mistake i did go look at the reviews before you purchase uh anything dragon ball z wise related to be honest with you that's the only problem i've ever had with something like that on amazon I've never really had an issue like that before so it was all new to me but I took them back. I was supposed to be getting my money back once Amazon receives the packages again. And I'll be ordering them on TCG Player. And once I order them and get them in, I should have quite a few Dragon Ball Z videos. So if y'all was waiting on that Dragon Ball Z video to come up, I apologize. I tried my best. It didn't work out. Okay, we got King of Phantom Beasts, which is a pretty nice card. XYZ and Trust. I mean, I, when I went back on Amazon to file for a return, I had to call them and everything and let them know, like, these sellers should not be selling on Amazon. Uh, this is, I mean, it's, it was ridiculous. I should have did a video on it, but I was so mad that it just didn't cross my mind because one of those booster boxes did cost me around 200 bucks, and I ended up getting two of those, and it really really irritated me but the reviews i should have looked at it because in the reviews we got overlord uh there was a bunch of people that was getting the same boxes as me talking about the resealed and some of them actually opened the boxes and they all had open packs in it and the cards were swapped out for pokemon cards so those guys are I mean, 100% literal scammers, and they're just not even doing anything to really hide it. They're just hoping for you to buy their product, because as soon as you get your booster box in, it doesn't matter if it's Yu-Gi-Oh!, Magic, or Pokemon. If you buy a booster box on Amazon, as soon as you cut that seal on that booster box, you can no longer return, turn it back. That's what Amazon told me last night. So I'm just relaying the message to y'all. Yeah, exceed the pendulum. I don't mean to keep carrying on about this, but it, it really did. Yeah, I mean, it's, it got underneath my skin with that. 
that there are sellers like that that knows that they're selling open stuff but really don't care I mean it was it was a mess you got the mantis guy Porter you got cursed bride doll okay you've got supreme Ge uh, king gate magician all right UFO light red arrows and realm so yeah, I'll be ordering some Dragon Ball Z on TCG Player. Once I get those in, we're going to start getting those videos started. I mean, I'm very excited to hopefully, hopefully, I'm praying to pull some of those chase cards out of some of those. We got Wings of Light. So far, these blisters are not that great. Diamond Tiger and Card Scanner. I think we're about halfway through. Come on now. There's got to be some hits in these. 21 blisters. Okay, and here we go. We got a Sky Crisis. That is what we're looking for. An Ultra Rare Super Star Slayer Sky Crisis. Man, I stuttered on that pretty bad. Excuse me, excuse me. Sleeve this bad boy up. Hell yeah. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want me to go live with the Pokemon or should I just do a standard video? I'm gonna let y'all decide on that. We got Supreme King Dragon, Master Teo, Miracle of the Supreme King. You got Vita. 4,000 defense. Holy shit. Too many words to read, though. I tell you, as many people as I've dueled at the locals and everything, some cards, I just let them play certain cards. Like, cards I've never, like, dealt with before <clears throat> that I don't know the effects on top of my head. But they know it. I'll just let... I mean, they could literally sit there and say yeah, it takes 4,000 of my life points and just ends the whole duel. I mean, I'm not sitting here reading three paragraphs on a card just for me to read it five times because I forgot what I read at the beginning. Embrace of the Tistina. But I know at my locals, they're pretty casual. They're pretty casual players. I mean, they're not like the... Spend 15 minutes on one turn and summon all these monsters for no reason because I'm going to pull uh, Nibiru out of my hand. They're not those those kind of people. It's pretty laid back. We got Shankro Rumble. Man, we got one good card so far. All the All the heat is in these last packs. Has to be. There ain't no way that the. <laughs> this would be the. This would definitely not be the first time Age of Overlord has done me wrong. We got Earthbound Servant, Sinful Spools, Pit Knight. Okay, we got King Sarcophagus. Pretty sweet, if you ask me. It's not the quarter century version. I think the quarter century, I think the quarter century version of this, if I'm not mistaken, I might be getting confused, but I think the quarter century is only like 12 bucks. So I think that card is like only a couple dollars. I can't remember, I might be getting confused with another card in this set. But if you look on TCG Player and look at some of the quarter century rare prices in this set, I mean, it will kind of like awe you because there's some that are only like four, four to six bucks. Just doesn't seem right. We got seed spitting saplings. Okay, Alpha Summon, XYZ, and Trust. We got six packs left. Yeah, six. We got some fire. We got some fire in this pack. I can feel it. There's something good in this one. We got Stars Align. Starry Night, Play, Simple, and it's not, it's a goddamn Overlord. 
We got a sweet roommate. All right, all right. Something's gonna give here. Something is gonna give. We got Shade Peacock, Cursed Bride Doll, Supreme King Dragon. Okay, we got Odd Eyes, the Odd Eyes Dragon. Not too bad. It is the guy on the front cover. Oh yeah, pretty cool. Oh, I forgot to sleeve up spools. Okay, now we're not we're not doing too bad, but we're not doing too great. But I still take my chances with blister packs in a booster box. I got a fighting porter. Okay, we know the got another king beast. We take those. Yeah, we take those all day right there. I think I, I think I now got a playset of him. Think with souls, fierce force, and Luca. Three packs. If y'all see any commons or seen any commons in these in this video that y'all need, I mean. Feel free to just message me and I'll send them out to you if you guys want. With no charge. We got Starry Dragon Circle. I think that was the number one card we kept pulling in my first video. I think we pulled like four of him. Well, I got like what? 10 or 11 blisters and pulled four of him out of the 11. Got two packs remaining. Oh man, we got a quarter century rare. We got a quarter century rare. Oh man, which one is it? Which one is it? I told you these are some last pack magic. Ken the Warrior Dragon, Earthbound Servant, Play. Already oh, missed it. We got Banquet Soul. Huh. Bro, I have no idea. I don't know the value of this card on the top of my head. I believe this is one of those $12, $10 or $12 ones. But still, a quarter century rare is still a nice one to pull. I could be mistaken on the prices. But there are so many quarter century rares in, in this set. It's not even funny. <clears throat> I mean, I think there's like... 10 of them total, 10 or 11 total. And this is the very last pack <clears throat> with some last pack magic too as well. No quarter century, but can we pull something good? We got Shade Peacock. We got the Mantis. And we got Snake Eye Oak. Okay, Red Arrows. Jug ring card scanner. That's I don't think that was too bad. I mean, out of 21 blisters, uh, we did get a quarter century rare. Hell yeah. I'm so glad we pulled that. Okay, you can these these guys can just go back on the table. Y'all separated from the from the group. We got original sinful spoils, snake eye. We got King's uh, sarcophagus. We got the Sky Crisis, sweet. I now have two of those now. And we got Odd Eyes Dragon. Hell yeah, that's not that's not bad. That's not bad at all. I think all together for 21 blisters, uh, I think it was like 110 bucks or something like that. So I think we did pretty good. But like I said at the beginning, if you want to get into this giveaway for this Egyptian God Slime Secret Rare and Tri Edge Master Secret Rare and First Ed MRD and First Ed LOB, these are English versions. They're not the Asian English, they're just the standard English. Uh, just got a comment down below and be a subscriber. And I appreciate everybody who actually watches my videos. 
and not just comments. I mean, y'all are y'all are just great. I mean, I'm trying my best to do what I can, and hopefully, I get these get my refund back from Amazon and get those booster boxes get here as quickly as possible so I can start doing some Dragon Ball Z pretty often. But thank y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Thank you.